Hey YouTube, it's me again, uh, your girl Silent, and um, I wanted to tell y'all about this um, thing that I went through like um, like two weeks ago, a week ago, or something like that. Okay, so I um, I met this um, guy, whatever, and um. He was cute and, like, you know, he's cute and stuff, but, uh, he's, he wasn't really my type, but he was cute, and he wanted to talk to me, so I was like, okay, whatever. Um, just so y'all know, I'm putting my business out there, but, like, I been out of the dating game for a minute. When I say a minute, I mean, like, a long minute. So, um... <laughs> I'm, like, new to, like, a lot of stuff that's been going on with guys and stuff that I didn't know what was going on. But anyway, I'll get into that. Guy said he wants to talk to me and stuff. So I'm, like, fine or whatever. So um, we exchanged numbers or whatever and text and then we, we talked or whatever. And um, <clears throat> he basically told me what he was looking for. He wanted a girlfriend, you know. Now, me, y'all, I'm like, I'm kind of just wanting a friend right now. And then maybe if it turned into, like, something serious, fine. But I'm not, like, straight off, oh, I want to be married, you know, because I don't want to be married right now. But, um, <laughs> so he, like, um, <clears throat> he said he wanted to, you know, he wanted a girlfriend or whatever. And then eventually, you know, a wife and stuff like that. And, um, so I'm just like, you know. Basically, like, he told me he wanted, like, a wife and, you know, kids and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, that's cool and stuff. And he was he was asking about me, and I'm like, well, you know, that's not something I want right now. Then he got quiet and stuff. And I was like, well, when would you even, like, want to, like, get um <clears throat> married and have kids and stuff? Like, you know, and he was just like. He told me, I'm sorry, that hair was just killing my nerves. He told me that, um, like, if me and him, basically, he was just like, he wanted me and him to start, like, straight off dating and stuff, being in a relationship, and then after a month, <laughs> he wants to, like, get married and have kids. And I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, I'm like, that's not, you know, what um I want right now, you know. I'm on my career game, you know, like. It's not even that. It's like, why rush? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like, why rush into something like that? You don't rush. In, I think that's the issue with people these days, though. Like, people want to fall in love and, like, rush into marriage so quickly. Like, take your time. And if you're, like, really in love, it's like, you know, what's the point in, like, rushing if you know you're going to be together forever? But anyway, whatever. So, um, we start talking more and stuff. And I think, y'all, he was, like, he was funny to me because I think he was, like, getting high on the phone and stuff. And, like, we'll be talking, and I'll, I'll hear so like, I hear a noise like that. <laughs> and I'm like, is he getting high or something? Because the way he talked, I'm like, he must be, you know, getting he must be getting hot because, like, he'll just talk off and stuff. I just couldn't do nothing but laugh. I'm like, he just was not. I have not, I've been trying to, like, talk to guys and stuff a little more because I'm getting up there in age. I'm 27, and y'all, I know a lot of people don't think it's old, but, you know, I kind of slack when it comes to my love life. I really do slack. So I've been trying to, like, really get to know guys and stuff. So I'm like, let me just talk to him and stuff like that. But he was not stimulating my mind at all. And... I'm sorry, but in order for you to stimulate other parts of me, my mind has to be stimulated. That's how I work, okay? But um, anyway, so then we were talking about, you know, we wanted to, I'm about to get to the point, but uh, we were talking about how we wanted to, you know, he wanted us to go out or whatever. So I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. I'm like, well, let's go to the movies. To me, the movies is a safe place to go, you know? And plus, it's like, it won't be so awkward to go to the movies. He didn't want to go to the movies. He wanted me to just come hang out at his place first. And then, you know, if he felt like he I could be his girl, 
then we'll go to the movies. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, we're going to, you know, we can go to the movies first. And then after we go, maybe go out more, then maybe I'll feel comfortable enough to go over to your place. Because y'all know, if he wants me to come over to his place, y'all know what that's about. All right? You know that he wants something to go down. That's not me. I'm not going to be, you know, having sex as soon as I meet a guy. That's not me. Okay? But, um... And I'm not coming over to a guy place, and I don't know him like that. I don't know, and I told him, I'm like, you know, he said, well, um, he um he wanted me to come over to his place before we went out to the movies and stuff. I'm like, why can't we just go out to the movies first and stuff? Now he lives not that far from me, like at all, but he said for him to go out to the movies with me would kill him and I'm like it would kill you I said well if it would kill you then don't do it you know I said then then just don't go or whatever and he just kept bugging you bugging me about you know me coming over to his place and stuff and I kept telling him people can't make me do anything I don't want to do it's not going to happen I'm just it's not going to happen I'm not going to be coming over your place and I don't know you or something and he was like you act like it's going to you know it's going to kill you. I said, it probably will. I said, because I don't know you. <laughs> you know, whatever like that. So then, y'all, he said, you know, <clears throat> I was like, why can't, I said, you making this hard, it didn't have to be. We can just go go out to the movies or whatever. And he said that he don't like going out to the movies because he don't like people staring at him. So I said, people staring at you, what do you, what do you mean? And he said, you know, every time I go out to the movies, you know, people just, I don't like people just be staring at me. I'm like, why people be staring at you? You know, it made me sound, he, you know, make it sound like he's famous or something like that. I said, why people stare at you and stuff? And he said, because, you know, they see me, you know, I be dressing nice and all this kind of stuff or whatever. And I still wasn't getting what he's saying. He said, plus, he said, he got friends out there who just be looking. So I'm like, oh. So I said, basically... You worried about what your friend's going to say. He was like, yeah. He said, you know, I got to watch out who I be with. So I'm like, okay. It hit me right then, right? He don't want to be seen with me in public, basically. He don't want his boys to know that he like big girls. So I was like, so what do you think? I said, you think I'm a dog or something like that? And he was like, I said, you trying to say I'm a dog or something like that? And he was like, he like, no, I'm not trying to say that, but you know. You got, I just got to worry about who I be with and stuff like that. And I was like, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, I said, I don't, I can't be with a guy who, you know, isn't man enough to say he likes what he likes. Whether you're a guy or a woman or whatever, don't be with someone who can't admit they like what they like. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be with a guy who's going to be rejecting me in public, okay? I'm big. Everybody knows it or whatever. I can't hide it, you know, as many girdles as you can put on. I cannot hide that I'm big. So, you know, I need someone who who's okay with that. Because I'm coming to terms with who I am, you know. And um, and I said, I can't be with somebody like that. And he was like, well, that's, he said, well, don't you worry about what your friends say? I said, no, I don't. Because honestly, my friends, you know, yeah, they might not like someone that I'm with or whatever. You know, they might, if the person, say, looks funny or something, yeah, your friends clown you and stuff. But your real friends, if they know someone, maybe they don't look the way you want them to look. But if they know someone is treating you right, they want you to stay with that person because they want you to be treated right, you know? <clears throat> so, all that happened or whatever. And I'm just like, this isn't going to work. And he said it too. He was like, well, this isn't, you know, it don't seem like this going to work or whatever. So, you know, he didn't want to be friends with me. <clears throat> so, we just hung up the phone. I was like, cool, whatever. <clears throat> And then he was like, you know, no, he said, we said we was going to be friends, you know, instead. And then we hung up the phone and then he sent me a text and he said, I can't, I can't do this. We can't be friends or whatever. A text y'all. And I was like, okay, fine. I said, okay, fine. You know, thanks for keeping it real. Good luck. That was it. Y'all, after I sent that, he called a minute later and was like, I take it back. I take it back. I still, you know, I still want to be friends. Let's be friends or whatever. Fine. I was like, I was like, listen, I said, seriously, I'm not, I'm not the one to be playing games. I said, I don't want to be going back and forth and stuff like this. So you need to tell me what you want. That's what I said. And he was like, let's, let's be friends. I take it all back.
The next day, you know, he texted me asking how I was doing and stuff. And again, he was trying to get me to come over to his place just for 30 minutes. Just come over for 30 minutes. I'm going to cook dinner for you and all this kind of stuff. I was like, no, thank you, you know. And then he was like, you know what? Let's not talk no more. We can't be friends. And I'm like, I was like, fine, whatever, okay? And that was it. <laughs> All that. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all this. I think that he, a lot of things that women like me are going through with these guys, though, honestly, I'm going to be real, y'all. I think it's women's fault because you can't tell me that, you know, he's done this to other women and it worked. And he thought it was going to work on me, but he had something else coming, you know, because I know who I am and I know what I deserve. I don't care if I am big. I don't care if what people can think, whatever they think. I know I'm precious. I know I'm a diamond. I know I got good stuff, you know, so I'm not going to let somebody treat me any other way. And I think he was dealing with these big girls who or just girls, women, period, who just felt so lonely that they just gave in to him, you know. They thought, oh, well, well, maybe, you know what, I'll go over to his house and then we, you know, we can go out to the movies just like he said, whatever. Y'all, and then he told me that he was afraid that if we went out to the movies that I wouldn't talk to him ever again. I'm like, what is that about? See, now, I could go over to his place and do something or whatever, then he won't talk to me again. But how am I going to go over, go to the movies with you and then I'm just not going to talk to you again? And I didn't even say anything about him paying for it or driving me. I didn't say nothing like that. Because I'm thinking we can just meet at, you know, just go out to the movies together. That's it. And just, you know, try to get to know each other, whatever. But either way, don't, don't, y'all, you know what? Grown women are going to do what they're going to do. If you want to be out there messing around with different men, it's your prerogative. I ain't trying to, you know, teach abstinence and all that stuff just protect yourself that's what i will say protect your body physically and mentally because as many times people say that they're not going to like mentally like you know get attached to people when they have sex they do you know what i'm saying so protect yourself in that way and also just don't be giving it up so easily like i really think men just have nothing to strive for anymore because women give it up so easily you know and I think he thought I was going to be, like, one of those women that might feel so lonely and have so much bad um, self-esteem or something that I was going to deal with that. And he kept saying that I wouldn't do what he wanted me to do. He needs a woman to do what he wants them to do and stuff like that. And um, all I asked was... Um, was to just like us to go to the movies that's it but he was asking so much of me like I'm not even telling y'all like every day everything that you know he was asking for and stuff but he tried to make it like I should do everything that he wanted me to do because maybe he felt like um, he was, I don't know, maybe he felt like he was cuter than me or something like that, and that I should be grateful or something, I don't know, but he sure act like, you know, that I wasn't doing anything for him, and he was doing so much for me or whatever, but anyway, all I'm gonna, all I gotta say is, you know, don't let anyone, like, treat you, no matter who you are, like, don't let no one treat you like crap, you know, or don't be with someone who does not want to be seen with you and who don't want to, um, you know, own up to you. Like, who doesn't, you know, who's not really into you like that, you know? I'm fine with it, though. I just thought the whole situation was funny because I've been trying to just put myself out there a little more. Because, you know, I've heard people say, you know, loved ones tell me that I'm kind of distant, you know, when it comes to the whole... Um, you know, relationship kind of stuff and all that, you know, like, you know, they say I can be, you know, I, I just need to work on that. So I tried to put myself out there more and take chances and stuff. And that's why I even like, that's why I talked to him. I'm like, he was cute, but he wasn't my type. He wasn't like, he wasn't, he wasn't really smart. And it's not like I want a guy who's a genius, but gosh, can we talk politics? Can we talk this, that, you know? 
He was not really bright. He didn't stimulate my mind or anything. And he has not called me back since, which means that he really not he really didn't want a relationship. He just wanted to just have sex. And maybe he thought everything he was telling me was things that I wanted to hear. But if a guy tell me that he wants to impregnate me and get married after a month, that scares me. Anyway, y'all, I just thought it was something funny. I hope y'all leave a comment rate or subscribe so bye i'll probably shoot one more video out though because i'm trying to catch up all right see y'all love you much bye